Okay, this video is focused on the properties of syntactic knowledge. At the end of the lecture, you should be able to first define syntactic knowledge and second, examine the properties of syntactic knowledge. First, what is a syntactic knowledge? According to Alexander in 2015, syntactic knowledge is the knowledge of how words can be combined in meaningful sentences, phrases, or utterances. It involves the way that words are assembled and sentences are constructed in a particular language. So basically, this refers to your knowledge and your understanding on the English syntax or the syntax of some languages in general. So what are the different properties of syntactic knowledge? I have here five, but first let us focus on the first two because these two properties are quite complementary in nature. And these are proofs of one of the basic properties of syntax. If you can still recall the property that language makes infinite use of finite set of rules and principles, these two properties of syntactic knowledge are proofs of such property of syntax in general. First, a language may contain a limited number of words, but it contains an unlimited and infinite number of sentences because of its structures. So given the fact that every language in the world only has a limited set of vocabulary, users of the language can actually combine these words all together in an unlimited and infinite number of sentences because the structure of such language allows it to do so. Example, if you were only given the word nakakapagpabagabag as the one which will consist a particular sentence, you can automatically use it three ways. Nakakapagpabagabag in a declarative form, nakakapagpabagabag in a question form, and nakakapagpabagabag in an exclamatory form. Second, human beings can produce and understand an infinite number of sentences using only a few structure. Why can this be possible? Because for as long as the idea is clear and for as long as that particular sentence structure is commonly being used in a particular language, then human beings can automatically generate a number of sentences using the more common structures of language formation or sentence formation in a particular language. Third, there is no specific limit on the length of a sentence. A sentence can be formed using only two words, sometimes using one word, the other is hidden. That's why we have one word sentences specifically for commands or for simply saying yes as a response to a particular question or no as also a response. So here is an example. This example may be sounding crazy or you may look at it as if it's not a sentence at all. But believe me, this is actually grammatical and syntactically correct. So let me read to you this example. This exceeding trifling whittling, considering ranting, criticizing, concerning adopting fitting wording, being exhibited exhibiting transcending learning was displaying notwithstanding ridiculing surpassing boasting swelling reasoning respecting correcting erring writing and touching detecting deceiving arguing during debating this sentence once interpreted to support the fact that this is grammatical and syntactic in nature means this way this very superficial grammatist, supposing empty criticism about the adoption of proper phraseology to be a show of extraordinary erudition, was displaying, 
in spite of ridicule, a very boastful, turgid argument concerning the correction of false syntax and about the detection of false logic in debate. So, this example supports the fact of the third property of syntactic knowledge that there is no specific limit on the length of a sentence. However, if you are dealing with the basics of communication, the simpler the thought was delivered, the better and the easier you will be understand. But then again, in the English syntax, no matter how long your sentence is, it can still be syntactically correct and grammatical. Number four, a sentence with a clear syntax can be nonsense. Example, colorless blue ideas it furiously. If you're going to look at it, it's totally nonsense. However, syntactically speaking, it is correct. You can see here a subject, which is the colorless blue ideas. The one that does the verb in the sentence furiously. So you can see here a noun phrase, and at the same time, you can see a verb phrase. Thus, a simple sentence. And last one, most of the languages follow some basic syntactic word orders. So this will be our next topic and this knowledge on the basic word orders will also allow you to understand why translation in general is hard. You need to abide by the common syntactic word orders in a particular language, which, by the way, not all the time are all applicable to the English language. So here are the references for this video presentation. Thank you.